next clip is a special one. Meet Rod Burns, founder of Extreme Sports for Kids. Hi, I'm Rodney Burns. I hate that red hair. What I love most about Extreme Sports is how it makes me feel like a kid again. <laughs> but one day, it dawned on me. Kids can't experience extreme sports until they're older. And it just made me sad to think of the millions of toddlers who have yet to experience the thrill of extreme bungee or, or skyboarding. That's why I formed Extreme Sports for Kids. ESK is a nonprofit organization which allows kids a chance to experience extreme sports at a tender age. Without ESK, Danny wouldn't have this opportunity to bungee jump. He'd probably have to wait. ESK gives kids a chance to live life to the fullest. It was Tommy Nichols that first showed me the house. Whoa, that's Fam's house. He's from Vietnam. He's a martial arts expert. He knows nerve fighting. One pinch and you are dead. Don't look at his house. Don't look at my house! Nerve fighting? What? You tell me to F off? Huh. Yes. That's what you say. Perfect. There you go. That doesn't look like me. What are you talking about? Hey, you got the face all wrong. No offense, kid, but that's what you look like. Forget it! I'm not paying. Your drawings suck. Get back here, you owe me ten bucks. <laughs> Freaking boy clops. <laughs> boy clops, he's a regular kind of guy. Boy clops, he's just like you and I. Except maybe for the fact that he's only got the one eye. I just wanted to look at her all day. All day. <laughs> then I saw the price. I was a kid, man. I couldn't afford that, you know what I mean? But beside the price was a list of specs. I clearly remember the words, anatomically accurate. Anatomically accurate. <laughs> wow. Next day, I went out and got a paper route. For a 12-year-old boy, those were the two best words in the English language. And this girl was our maid. I mean, she came with a remote. We, we had the keys to this thing. The manual even said it. She would do anything her human masters wanted her to. I thought about that. My little 12-year-old brain thought about that and went, holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. And I, I knew then and there that civilization would never be the same. Look, I like the handheld feel but would it kill you to get some sticks? And what's with the fluorescence? If we're gonna do this right, we're gonna need a Kino and a couple of 2Ks in the corner. Can I get a coffee, please? I like what you're doing with the character, but I need less jock, more boy becomes a man. Can we get a little bit more pancake on our priest here? I can't work like this. Lisa! Look, I know what you're thinking. We need a steady cam. We're just going to have to dolly. Places and action. 
Can I have my wheelchair back? We hit this enormous buck. So I went outside to check it out. And that's when it happened. What? Did you say something? I wanted to go home. But Danette insisted we go on. So we set up camp. By then she convinced me it was all in my head. Danette, come with me. Dears. Dears. Dears can't talk. You imagined it. Now hurry up and pee so I can sleep. That's when they dissolved into the inky blackness. Their evil deer talk in my brain. No, oh no. Deer talk sound like? Kind of like, uh. French. What's the matter? You afraid you can't catch a frisbee? Oh, leave him alone, Richie. I ain't afraid of anything. Well, then I'll see you at frisbee trials today after school. I'll see you there, Richie. I think we just got to the point where we, done, we we just we did it all. You know, we covered every single extreme sport possible: um, skateboarding, uh, inline skating, uh, mountain biking, bodyboarding, surfing, extreme surfing, tie boxing, parasailing, aggressive bungee, aggressive frisbee, cliff diving, waterfall diving, aggressive waterfall jumping, jagged rock flipping, boulder toss, boulder jump, jam ball, extreme jam ball. Jam ball with just full out jam ball. I mean, me and my boy Mike Dog, we mastered everything. There wasn't an extreme sport we haven't conquered. I'm telling you. I thought, man, there's no sport extreme enough for the dog anymore. I don't, the same old stuff just got boring. There was, there was the speed, the fear, the, the death factor. But we just got sick of it and we wanted to just make something new. We needed a new challenge and that's, that's when we came up with, with back jumping. We just, we took everything from different sports that we learned and we just applied it to this. It deals with the ultimate consequence, which is getting the shit beat out of you. Hi, Cameron. Dare you to play Nikki Nine Doors on Fam's house. No way! You can do nerve fighting. Forget it. Absolutely not. I'll show you my YouTube.
I awoke a new man, a man fresh out of prison, Phoenix reborn. It was the first day of my new life, a life without Megan. And even though I hadn't told her yet, I still felt liberated. I wanted to celebrate. At the same time, the truth was, I felt a little nervous about the whole thing. I mean, there was no telling how Megan would take the news. I thought I should talk to someone first. But who else could I call? Lucy. My sister. It was a good choice. Plus a female perspective on the situation, which I thought might be a good idea. She told me to come right over. So what's up? She asked. It's Megan, I replied. I want to break up with Megan. Her face must have hung like that for five full seconds. It wasn't a good sign. I mean, this was my sister, my own flesh and blood. I couldn't imagine how Megan would react. Finally, she put down her coffee and said, Don't. Don't break up with Megan. My grandmother was walking to the other room. You know, I went over and I was going to the bathroom and I just saw her down the hallway and I just got that back jumping urge and I just, bam! And she just, she hit the ground like a sack of cement. <laughs> and uh, I felt, I don't know, I felt bad about it. She used to give me uh, $20 a year for like Christmas or my birthday. She doesn't do that anymore. My favorite day? Saturday. Saturday is for me and my sister. It's our day to shop. Shopping! Shopping! Saturdays are for Junk Mart. Junk Mart's got the useless junk we want. Aisles and aisles of the relatively unnecessary. A whole store of crapola. If you're into over-consumerism, Junk Mart is definitely the place to be. What's that? I don't know, it's only 99 cents. Get one. I'm getting the whole crate. Secret to their prices? Overseas sweatshops. Sweatshops. And the children workers probably get a Junk Mart discount. At least 10% off. Now that's a good deal. I don't know what we did before Junk Mart. I need my junk. My junk. Just like I need my Saturdays at Junk Mart. Gotta have my junk. Without a doubt. It was when I used to babysit for the Webbers. I mean, it was a good gig. They had Nintendo, but they also had these freaky twin daughters. Do you come and play, Michael, too? Why don't you girls go play in the graveyard? I mean, sure, the girls were weird, but they didn't scare me. I mean, it was Super Nintendo. No, what scared me was their brother, creepy baby. Creepy baby came straight from Satan's loins. Do you give brothers bottle, Michael? Do. The kid was straight from Hades. He was super intelligent. And he smelled funny. He smelled like Satan. And it was as if he never aged. I mean, his clothes were, were like out of fashion. They're all worn out. It was as if he was a baby forever. And strange things happened around him. Until one day, 
the unthinkable. I haven't vacuumed since. I sweep. <laughs>